Hello, people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. <laughs> Good okay. afternoon, teacher. Yeah, we could hear the rooster <laughs> singing. <laughs> He's going to be in the class too. Good afternoon, Byron, and good afternoon, everybody. Okay, so welcome to your class number six. Today, we are gonna have a very um, important class. Okay, we are going to uh, practice the vocabulary that we learned yesterday and also more vocabulary, questions, yes, no questions, and uh, there is and there are. Okay, that we studied that a little bit. So that is the topic, simple present short answers in conversation, my new apartment. We have three lesson objectives. I would like a volunteer to read. Well, we need three volunteers because we have three objectives. So who wants to read the first one? Do we have any volunteer to read the first? Okay, please read the first. Thank you. Okay, lesson, uh, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond to the uh, take it all teacher. Okay. Uh, the simple present, additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Thank you, Briseida. Okay, uh, objective number two. Tatiana? But we cannot hear you, Miss. You will learn vocabulary for furniture and other household <laughs> items. Household items. Excellent. Okay. And the last one, maybe Evelyn, number three. Okay. Bye. Bye. This class, you will learn how the from day, which there is and there are, also how to use some on an any when referring to different objects. Thank you so much. Nice reading. Okay. So we have the following activities. In activity one, we have recording previous class. We have a game. In then activity two, simple present questions and short answers. Activity three, that is in the dark and wrap up, okay? So let's start with the recalling previous class. We have this game, which is bamboozle. And I will explain. This is for you, or this is for us to practice the vocabulary for the house and apartment. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that we learned yesterday some rooms of the house, parts of the house? So you will read, for example, this is where we sleep. This is where we sleep. What is it? This is where we sleep. Okay, so what is it? What part of the house is it? Where do you sleep? Bedroom. In the bedroom, exactly, the bedroom. So that's what you are going to do and answering in the, in the game, okay? So let me share with you the game, okay? So we have today only nine students. Again, we are gonna do it one by one, okay? So we're going to start with the people that I see here in the, in, in my screen. So first is Anita. Okay, Anita, you have to choose a number from one to 16. Uh, 
eight. I'm sorry? Number eight. Number eight. Okay, Anita. Lole, you read it and then you say the answer. This is where we enter and exit our house. Maybe living room. Okay, this is the part of the house where you enter, we enter and we go out or we exit out of the house. The door. <laughs> the door. Let's check if it's correct. Yes, it's the front door. The front door. door. Excellent. Okay. Tatiana Barrera, you are next. Number two. Number two. Lo leo, teacher. Yes, please. This is the room under underneath the house it is usually in the ground uh -huh. um, the garden it's underneath the house well maybe in el salvador we don't have this but um american houses they have this place maybe you have seen them in the movies it's under the house underground the house no lo vimos ayer, pero if you have the idea in Spanish, you can say it in Spanish. Did someone have an idea? Sótano. Ajá, el sótano. Let's check. But in English, it's the basement. The basement. So this is new vocabulary for you, okay? You can write down the basement, el sótano, basement, okay? Thank you, Tatiana, for your participation. Basement. Sótano, basement. Okay, um, Evelyn, you are next, Evelyn. Number one. Number one. Okay. Read please and take the answer. It please keep the rain out of your house. What do you say? Gates. Gates. Uh, can you repeat, please? What do you say? Gates in Spanish. Oh, this keeps. It means, um, bueno, mantener. En ese sería mantiene la lluvia eh, o, o protege de la lluvia tu casa. This keeps the rain out of your house. ¿Qué protege? What protects your house from the rain? When it rains. When it rains. El techo, pero no sé cómo lo explico. Ah, English. okay. It's the roof. Uh, the roof. It's the roof. Yes. Oh, okay. Roof. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're <laughs> learning your vocabulary. Roof. <laughs> El techo. Roof. Okay. Next. It's Juan Martinez. Mr. Martinez. Good afternoon. Can you... Choose a number, Mr. Martinez. <coughs> Mr. Martinez? We can hear you. No, no le escuchamos. Bueno, al menos yo no escuché. Alguien lo puede escuchar? No. Okay. No. Okay, maybe he has problems with the audio. Okay, we continue with the next person and maybe later Mr. Martinez can tell us a name. So we start with Noemi. 
We got number four. Number four, Naomi. Oops, okay, another number. Um, number six. Number six. Boom! <laughs> now you lose 50 points. <laughs> another number, Naomi. Pase el siguiente, teacher. Now, number. number seven. Number seven. Oh, this is so easy. Lo lee y lo dice This is where we sleep. The No le escuché, no, Emi dijo la respuesta. No, no, teacher, no. Es donde dormimos. This is where we sleep. Where we sleep. Right? Pedro. The bathroom, exactly. Ok, Emi, good job. Mm, let's see. Byron. What number do you want? Number nine. Number nine. Okay, this is where the oh you have to see. <laughs> Va, ¿Qué les dije? Denme el gato. Uh -huh. This is, yeah, but you have to read. This is where the smoke. This is where, This the, is smoke. where the smoke comes out of the house. Exactly. And yes, it's the chimney. The chimney. Very chimney. good, Byron. Thank yeah. you so much for your participation. Okay, let's see the other person is Jenny, Jenny Palencia. Number three. Okay, read please. This goes around our garden. Our garden, this goes around our garden. Garden. If you don't know in English, you can say it in Spanish. I don't know, teacher. Any idea? Dice, esto va alrededor del jardín. This goes around our garden. Any idea in Spanish? ¿Qué hacemos ahí para dividir al vecino y nosotros el jardín? Como una valla. Yes, la cerca o la valla. Fence. Ok, it's the fence. Fence. Mr. Martínez. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now we can hear you, Mr. Martínez. Ok. Hoy sí me escuchan. Hoy sí. Disculpe. Disculpe. Que se me había desconfigurado el micrófono. Don't worry. Can you give us a number, please? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, or 16. The number 5. Ahí me lo guardaron porque... Ah. <laughs> sí, <le había> hecho. <laughs> okay, it says, this is the room or then is underneath the roof. This is the room underneath the roof. Dice que es el, el cuarto que está de, justo abajo del techo. Nuestras casas usualmente no lo tienen, but American houses do. American houses have this. Actually, there is a, there is a pupusería in los planes de renderos with this name. It's a very famous pupusería. This is the room underneath the roof. Y ese es como 
Y... Como el garage, no. Mm, not exactly. Ok, let's check. Is the attic. The attic. El ático. Ático. Ah, el ático. Ajá. Attic. El ático. Bueno, a veces ya lo han visto en movies. Maybe you have seen them in movies where uh, they are in that room, right? En ese, en ese cuarto, el ático y guardan cosas, right? Old things. Cosas viejas, old things, right? Thank you, Mr. Martinez. Ok. okay. A ver quién me falta. Briseida Martinez. Um, number 14. Number 14. Lo lea, por favor. Read, please. Ok, this is where we make food. And, uh, kitchen. Yes, it's the kitchen. Ok. Volunteers. Volunteers. Yo creo que ya todos pasaron, ¿verdad? Si se me quedó alguien, dígame. If not, we need volunteers to finish. Yo de nuevo. Para... Ok, Mr. Martinez. And the number 10. Ok. This place is outside. But it's not the garden. It's outside uh, the house, but it's not the garden. Outside. Um, but it's similar to the garden. The different no, is that is in garden. Yeah. yeah, it's similar, but it's yeah. not in the front, it's in the back. At the back of your house, not at the front. Ajá, uh, o sea, creo que lo dijo. Yard, no, pero no es eso. Oh, yeah, yo creí que era el jar. <laughs> creí que era el jar, but it's the balcony. Ok, el balcón. Ah. Ok, but yeah, I even thought it was. The yard, okay. Okay, now everybody can answer. 13. <clears throat> we park our cars here. What is it? Garage. garage. The garage, exactly. Okay. 11. Ooh. This is where we eat. Dining room. The dining room. The dining, dining room. Dining room. El comedor. Well, here in El Salvador, we eat in the living room, watching the TV, right? Many people eat in the living room, but in yeah. the bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and let's see. And the last one, this is another name for a living room. Two words. Another name for the living room. Well, let's learn. Oh, it's the sitting room. Okay, it's another name for the living room. The sitting room. Okay, very good. So that was the name. <laughs> so, uh, did you like the game? How the new words? ¿Qué nuevas palabras aprendimos? The new words? Oops. Chimney. Chimney. Attic. Attic. Basement. 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 El sótano. Uh -huh. Balcony. Balcony. 
How do you say techo in English? How do you say techo in English? Roof. Roof. The roof. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Okay, nice. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody. So now let's continue with the presentation. Okay, after this activity, let's go for activity number two. We have a conversation here about my new apartment. It's a conversation between Linda and Chris. So I need a Linda and a Chris in the class. Can we have two volunteers to read the conversation? Two volunteers, Linda and Chris. No volunteers? No sé quién dijo mí. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Evelyn is a partner. Okay, Evelyn is Linda and we need Chris. It can be a woman or a man. Yo, teacher. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, what's that? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. Is it is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a smart bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. Where is it? Oh, like a view drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> okay, and you can see that. That is the, the view, right? A great view of another apartment building. <laughs> okay, so as you see, how many questions we let's look at the questions we can see here. For example, what's it like? What's it like? Como es? Como es? What's it like? It's really beautiful. And Chris asked, is it very big? Is it very big? Yes, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Where is it? Donde está? Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Look at this question. Does it, it's different from the others. It starts with the auxiliary. Does. Does. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Porque estamos hablando, ¿por qué es it? Este it, ¿de qué están hablando? Del apartamento. The apartment, exactly. So it means the apartment. Does the apartment have a view? Or does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has, como estamos hablando de un o algo, the apartment is something, right? And it's singular. So it has a great view of another apartment building. Entonces, aquí tenemos una pequeña fórmula. Do, vaya. Cuando usamos do for questions, como ya les había explicado un poco antes, lo usamos with, with subjects. I, you, we, and they. The verb in the base form plus the complement. We have an example here. And the answer is yes, you mentioned the subject and then do. Or no, the subject plus don't. Example, do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? What would the answer be? Yes, I do. Exactly. Or? No, no I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Exactly. Another question. Do the bathrooms of your house or apartment have windows? Do the bathrooms. It's, in, it's plural, right? It's plural. Do the bathrooms have windows? No, they don't. No, they don't. Or yes, they do. 
right? So remember, with I, you, we, and they, we are going to use the auxiliary do for the question and for the answer. Question and answer, okay? And now, what about that? You let me know where, when I can change. Can I change? Can I move to the next slide? See? Yeah? No? Maybe? <laughs> okay. Das. Das is used for third person singular. He, she, and it. He, for example, Manuel. She, for example, Petronila. It, for example, the house, the car, the garden, the computer, the class, etc. So that's plus the third person singular plus the verb in base form and the complement. Example. And the answer will be yes, he, she, or it does. Or no, he, she, it doesn't. Uh, the sentence, the question, does Elena live in an apartment? Does Elena live in an apartment? Or does she live in an apartment? Answer. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Or? No, she, or she doesn't. doesn't. We have another question. Does the house have a garage? Does the house have a garage? Notice that the verb, even though it's the third person singular, the verb is in the base form. Está en su forma base, no cambia. El verbo siempre va a ir igual. Why? Because we have the auxiliary does. Does the house have a garage? Yeah, no, no, it doesn't. Or yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, so these are the examples. Good, so now it's time for you to practice. No me distraigan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Vaya, pero antes de practicar con las questions, we are going to review the furniture vocabulary. For example, me fue. Furniture vocabulary, we have the, for example, the bedroom, the living room, 
Um, we have the bathroom, the kitchen, the laundry room. Si me escuchan bien. Sí. Okay. So, um, what, uh, what uh, objects do we have in the bathroom? What does a bedroom have? Do you remember? Uh, the table. Okay, a bedroom can have a night table. Bed. A bed, exactly. Bed. Closet. Or clock? Clock. Clock, okay. <laughs> Television. I'm sorry? Television. Bank. Okay, a TV, Bank. a fun. Bank. Paint. Cuadro, una pintura. Oh, a painting, okay, painting. Mirror. Okay, a mirror. Yes, my 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 bedroom has a mirror. Two mirrors actually. <laughs> because I love mirrors. Okay, what about another one? Mirror. Eh, the dresser, decíamos ayer, dresser. Also, you can have some pillows. Almohadas, you can also have a shoe stand where, where you can keep your shoes. Okay, uh, what about the living room? What objects can you find in the living room? Sofa. The sofa. The armchair. It's different the sofa from the armchair because the armchair only is for one person. And in the sofa, two, three, four people can sit on the sofa. Coffee table. Okay, you can also have a coffee table. Excellent. What else? Lamp. Can you repeat, please? Lamps. Lamps, okay. What about a TV stand? A television. Window. TV windows. Curtains. Curtains. Cojines, cushions. You can also have a carpet, una, una alfombra, carpet, cushions. A radio, a fan, ventilador, right? A fan, pictures, maybe a bookcase, una librera. I had a bookcase in my living room. Okay, what about the bathroom? Toilet. Yes, that is the most important, right? That makes a, a bathroom a bathroom. <laughs> the toilet. The team bros. I'm sorry? Team, to, team bros. Oh, okay. The teeth brush. And the, teeth, the toothpaste. Shampoo. The two pains like Colgate, Oral Me, etc. Um, eh, somebody said? Shampoo. Oh, shampoo. shampoo. And soap. So? No soup. Soup is the chicken soup, tomato soup, so. but this is soap. Soap. Oh. You can also find mirror. A towel to dry yourself, right? 
disinfecting. Okay, you can you can have a, a cleaning kit, right? Like disinfectant. Toilet paper. Chlorine. And the deter detergent. I'm sorry, Anna, what did you say? The sink, Hello, man, right? A shower curtain also. La cortina de baño, shower okay. curtain. Okay, what about the kitchen? Refrigerator. No. Refrigerator. Coffee table. Uh, the cabinet, the kitchen cabinet. Microwave. Dishes. Okay, a table, coffee, coffee maker. maker, la cafetera, stove, stove, yeah, stove, a blender, Shire. una licuadora, a blender, a toaster. I'm sorry. Toaster. Un horno tostador. Oh. Okay. An oven. It's it's um yeah, a toast oven. Okay, now what about the laundry room where you wash your clothes? Well, this is very important, the washing machine. In United States, because of the weather, people also have a drying machine. You can have a clothes basket. La canasa de la ropa, clothes basket. You can have some hangers or los ganchos de ropa hangers, detergent, the softener. Yeah, some cosas, right? Okay, and others. The iron, the plan, the la plancha de iron. <clears throat> Let's, um, you can see this and more vocabulary in the next slide. I would like you to repeat after me, okay? Repeat after me. Armchairs. Armchairs. Stove. Chairs. Stove. Stove. Curtains. 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 Pictures. Pictures. Clock, bed, bed, desk, bed, lamp, desk, lamp, lamp, sofa, 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 television, 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 refrigerator, refrigerator, mirror, mirror, chairs. What is the difference between a carpet and a rug?
Uh, well, the rock uh, is a smaller el, 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 and we usually put it at the entrance. I'm sorry? En el tamaño. En el tamaño, yes, the size. The rock son, son pequeñas, ¿verdad? Son alfombras pequeñas que se ponen in the bathroom or at the entrance of your house. There are some rocks that say welcome, but the carpet is bigger. It covers the whole room. Mm -hmm. Now guys, you are going to make 10 questions, okay? 10 questions. Using do and using does, for example, does your bathroom have a mirror? Estamos usando the auxiliary does and your bathroom is the subject have a mirror. Tu baño tiene un espejo. The questions will be related to the house. Las preguntas van a ir relacionadas con la casa. Puede ser, does your house have a garden? Um, does your living room have a big window? Um, do you have a car in your garage? Do you have a garden or any questions, okay? And you are going to type your questions in the chat, please. Ahí vamos a estar leyendo sus questions, your questions, okay? Remember to use do or does, do or does. Good questions, good questions, excellent. Yes, I do have a garden in my house. My bedroom has uh, two mirrors. And yes, I do, I have a desk in my living room. Actually, I'm working in the living room. <laughs> okay, Juan. En esa sería, does your bedroom have, have a window? Porque el verbo no va a cambiar cuando hacemos pregunta, aunque sea tercera persona. Yes, it does. My bedroom has a small window. Yes, it does. The house has a garden. <coughs> Continue with your questions. They are all perfect. You can also ask, does your dog have a, a house? Do you have a pet house? Or a dog house, una casa para el perrito. No, 
No, I don't, Evelyn. I don't have a stairs in my house. Does your garage have a dresser? No, it doesn't, Juan. Do you have a badger in your house? Yes, Anita. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you, does your bathroom have a television? Wow, that would be nice. No, it doesn't. I don't even have a television in my living room. <laughs> Not by the moment. But we have internet and we have Netflix and Claro Video and TCS go. <laughs> More questions. Does your barrel have a shower curtain? Yes, it does. Or do you have chairs in your bedroom? <laughs> yes, I do. I have one, one chair in my bedroom. More questions. Byron? Yes, Byron? Okay. Good. So you can finish up your questions and you can send them in the WhatsApp group, okay? Do you have photos in your bathroom? Yes, I do. Do you have an oven in the kitchen? Yes, I have a big kitchen stove and, I, and it has an oven. It's because I love cooking. Do you have a microwave oven in the kitchen? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go over the next activity. Ustedes pueden ahí eh, responder las preguntas. You can answer the questions about yourself and send the questions and answers to the WhatsApp group, okay? When the class ends. Now, guys, we have another conversation here about there is and there are. It says there aren't any chairs. Again, we have a conversation between Chris and Linda and I need two different volunteers. Vamos a ver, two volunteers. Okay, Juan Martinez and the other volunteer. Oh, okay, yeah. Anita and Juan. O quien dijo yo? Yo, Noemi. Ah, okay, Noemi, excellent. Noemi and Juan. Okay, Juan, you are Chris and Noemi is Linda. Okay, uh, this apartment is great thanks i love it but it's i really need some furniture what do you what do you need oh i need a lot of things there are some chairs in the kitchen but there isn't a table and there's no sofa in the living room. 
and there aren't any chairs. There are only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. Weekend. This weekend. Nice. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Yes, guys. Uh, wow. Yeah. Furniture. Furniture refers to all the things that you have in your house, right? All, all those things like the refrigerator, uh, the stove, the chairs, the, uh, the sofas, the table, etc. So as you notice, they were talking about the things they have and they think and the things they don't have. Entonces, there is and there are, you, we use it to say that. Para decir lo que hay y lo que no hay. There are some formulas here. For example, in singular, we use there is, and because it's singular, it refers to only one thing, we use a or an plus the object, example. There's is la contraction, is the contraction of there is. ¿Verdad? There is, también se puede decir there's, contractado. There's a bed in the bedroom. Hay una cama en la habitación. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's a lamp on the night table. There is a TV in the living room. ¿Verdad? It's easy. There is plus a or an, when do we use an? When the word starts with vowel. Exactly, when the next word starts with a vowel sound. For example, orange or elephant or ice cream or apple. For example, we can say, there's an orange, uh, there's an orange uh, armchair in the living room, okay? Now, if you notice here, it says no. There is no a picture on the wall. We use no para decir que no hay, pero si se fijan, it's not, there is not, sino there is no picture. There is no picture on the wall. No hay ninguna foto en la, en la, ay, en la pared. Okay, there is no picture on the wall. Okay, now, plural. Two sí, things sí. or more. There are, and you can use some, que significa algunos. Puede usar el no, que es para decir que no hay. Or you can say a exact number, un número exacto. And plus the objects. Example, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Hay algunas sillas en la cocina. There are three armchairs in the living room. Hay tres. There are three, a exact number. There are five. There are seven students in the class. And you can say no. There are no flowers in the garden. No hay flores en el jardín. There are no flowers in the garden. So this is uh, the first formula. Now, remember, son se usa para decir algunos y es en afirmativo. Affirmative. Ahora para decir en negativo, no hay ningún, vamos a ver. We use there is plus not plus a for plus a or an in the object. There isn't, isn't is the contracted form of there is not. So there is not or there isn't a table in the kitchen. No hay una mesa en la cocina. There is not a mirror in the bathroom. No hay un espejo en el baño. There is not a mirror in the bathroom. There are plus not plus any plus the objects. In plural. There are not any cushions on the sofas. No hay ningún cojín en los sofás. No hay ningún. So any is used in negative. Negative in questions, only in negative in questions. But right here we are studying the, uh, the negative sentences. 
There aren't any books on the table. No hay ningún libro en la mesa. Oh, pues there aren't any books. There aren't books on the table only. No hay libros en la mesa, but you can use any. Questions so far? Teacher. Teacher. Diga, Juan. ¿Cuál, cuál es la diferencia entre el no y el no? Fíjese que... Pues aquí solo es, solo es otra forma de decir, no, there is no, para decir no hay. Es como, por ejemplo, en inglés usted puede decir, I don't have any idea, no tengo ninguna idea, I don't have any idea. Pero también puede decir, I have no idea, tengo no idea, literalmente diría sí, pero es una forma de decir, I have no idea, I have no idea, es como decir, no tengo ninguna idea. Pero está diciendo lo mismo. There is no picture on the wall. Or there isn't a picture on the wall. No cambia nada. Solo es otra forma de decirlo. Es nada más otra forma de decirlo. Pero significa lo mismo. El significado es lo mismo. Sí. You're welcome. Así que puede decir. There is no... There is no student in my class, or there isn't any student in my class. No hay ningún alumno en mi clase. Y les voy a mandar esta presentación para que la tengan allí, porque si no alcanzaron a copiar todo. Y aquí está como summarized, resumido. Singular, you can use a, an, and no. You can also use some, any, or no. There is a boy, there is a pool, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman. There are for two or more things, there are two oranges, there are three people, there are five glasses, there are six women, there are four girls, there are some students, there are some eh, plants in my garden, etc. Y entonces la tarea va a ser que usted va a escribir, va a describir, eh, bueno, aquí había puesto que en el wrap up, usted iba a usar there is and there are, porque creo que ayer no... No sé si lo terminaron. Pero sí me gustaría que describieran por lo menos dos de sus... Eh, do, two parts of the house, but in detail. Así bien detallado, ¿verdad? De las cosas que hay en su casa, ya sea in the living room, or in the kitchen, or in the bathroom. Igual que le salgan, que le salgan 10, 5 y 5, 5 and 5. Y también hay aquí un worksheet que también se lo puedo enviar si ustedes quieren hacer el ejercicio. That would be great for you. Que yeah, lamentablemente we only have one hour and we don't have, it's enough, it's not enough. <laughs> but I don't know if you have any questions or you can tell me, a ver, para ver, para comprobar su aprendizaje. ¿Quién me quiere decir? ¿Quién quiere intentar with the number one? To complete the statement number one. In my living room, there is and there are. In my living, example, in my living room, there is a desk and there are two armchairs and one sofa. In my bedroom, there isn't a fan, and there aren't some uh, pictures, for example. And question, does your house have a second floor? Okay, so those are examples. A ver, ¿quién, quién me dice? Y el que me lo dice se va a ir desconectando. Vamos a hacer así, como los niños, no se van a la casa y no me dicen un ejemplo. In my living room there is a closet. In your living room. Yes. There is or there isn't. There is a closet. There is a closet, wow. And there are? Okay. 
In my bedroom, there is a bed. Okay, thank you, Byron. Thank you so much for your example. See you tomorrow. You can also say another place, Bye, the teacher. garage, the bathroom, the kitchen, the garden, etc. Does your house have a garage? Yes, it does. Okay, another person. Solo con una que me digan es okay. It's okay. Anita. Me. Ah, <laughs> uh, in my bedroom there are. Two closets. Okay, nice. Because I have a lot of clothes. Wow. <laughs> and in my bedroom, there is a mirror. There is a mirror in your bedroom. Mm, you should have one. Me, no. <laughs> In my case, I have it in my living room. In the living room, okay. Mm. Okay. That's all? Okay, Anita, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. In my living room, uh, there is a TV. In my living room, there is a printer, impressor. A printer. Printer. Yes. Bye, teacher. Okay, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. We still have Evelyn, Tatiana, Jenny, Briseida. In my chicken room is uh, I have uh, one refrigeration electronic and uh, one table and uh, three shaves only only uh, okay Evelyn thank you thank you bye see you tomorrow see you tomorrow teacher Ok, Mr. Martínez, Tatiana, Jenny. Tatiana. Um, in my living room, there is a um, TV. And there is a fan. In my bedroom, there is a um, uh, big um, mirror. Okay, great job. Thank you, Tatiana. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Me, teacher. Okay, Juan. In my bedroom, there is an, a carpet. And my kitchen, there is a there is an a refrigerator. Okay, yes. <laughs> there is an a refrigerator in your bedroom. Okay. <laughs> and Jenny? Hi, teacher. Hello. In my living room, there is a table. In my bedroom, there is a bed. Okay, thank you. In your living room, there is a bed. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, mirror. A mirror, a mirror, okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Thank you so much. Hope to see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye.